how's everybody doing today? Just going to do a little bit more cooking for you and I'm um, going to take it easy, stop laughing at me. And uh, I'm better doing this without a knot. Yeah, please go away. You're going to sit there and giggle. <laughs> anyway, uh, today I'm going to be cooking with cooking some tofu in a bit of a stir fry. I know you're probably thinking tofu, ooh, you know, I know a lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people just haven't even tried it and assume it doesn't taste good. Uh, the thing about tofu, much like meat, is uh, it's all about the seasoning, it's all about the preparation. If you take a piece of meat and you throw it in a pot of water, boil it, and eat it, it's going to taste like shit. But if you grill it or you season it properly, it's, it's going to come out great. And tofu works the same way. I mean, it's not pretty to look at. In fact, it's quite ugly. But then again, so is a block of cheese, and everyone loves cheese. So, anyway, I'm going to start cutting this. And I've already pressed it, and I've already drained most of the moisture out of it. This is, uh, this is extra firm tofu, which is what I like if I get the soft stuff. It's hard to cook. Because it doesn't it doesn't hold its shape, and I got my water boiling for my rice noodles right there. Anyway, let's get this cut. Oops! Let me try and motor through this quick. So I'm not entirely sure as as per usual. I'm uh. Not entirely sure what I'm going to put into it. I do have some peanut butter. I like to call this peanut paste because to me, peanut butter has got all the flavor added to it. When it's just chopped up, ground up peanuts, to me it's more of a paste. But Don't insult my peanut butter. Quiet you. She's telling me not to insult her peanut butter, but I like flavor in my peanut butter. I like peanuts. If I want to eat a peanuts, I mean peanuts. If I want to eat some peanuts, I'll eat peanuts. If I want to eat peanut butter, then I'll have actual peanut butter. Anyway, let's get some salt in here. And I'm going to use the air fryer for this today. And surprise, surprise, I'm going to use some curry. Awesome curry. Hmm, a little toss. She knows. starch decode it Works better when you plug it in. There we go. All right. So while that's happening, I'll get my noodles going. Get out of the pack and they're taking all, all of them out. 
I like my semi-formal kitchen wear today. Got one of my old jackets on, but cut off army shorts. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna... Got some veggies already over here. <coughs> Nothing too exciting. Some peas, broccoli, cauliflower, and green beans. My veggies in the oil. Some new tongs, so I keep kept losing the other ones in other videos, but this is just cheap shit from the dollar store, but better than nothing for now. What are we doing for time? Nine minutes? Yeah, we're doing Soy sauce, but I probably won't use it. But I am definitely going to use sesame oil. With some ginger. So I can get some heat. 
dropping peas. Maybe a little honey. Let's see what happens. And I know. I'm put a little bit of curry. Noodles cook super fast. So. Yeah, about another minute. Sesame oil. I'm going to leave the soy sauce since I put some salt in it. So definitely some ginger. The movie star. And the rest. peanut butter. All peanut butter is a little sticky. And I think I will add a little bit of this honey. Eventually. And maybe just a pinch of soy. Okay, 
pinch? How do you make a pinch of liquid? A drizzle. Half a drizzle. Check on my toe for a second. Said, I'm just screwing around in my own kitchen, so a bit more honey. There, that should be good. It's thinning out a little bit, so that's all right. It's not the prettiest color in the world, but sorry, right. I'm not trying to sell it to anyone. noodles to the mix. I think noodles are a little stickier than other pasta. We'll get used to it. Not the prettiest meal I've ever made, but the flavor's there. I grab a bowl. Oh, it's just the uh, air fryer. I don't have a 200 year old microwave, don't worry. Let's plate this up. That's what it's looking like at the moment. Chopsticks. Not bad for 20 minutes. Um, I will say it's definitely not the best thing I've ever made. It's not terrible. It's not great. I would say it's about average. But like I've said in my other videos, you know, you try, you try again. You just experiment, see what you got. I'm not following any specific recipes, but I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, if I had to make a change, maybe a uh, 
a little bit more salt. But aside from that, there is a lot of flavors in there. So, but anyway, like I said, part of the cooking experience in your own kitchen is experimentation because you're the only one who's tasting it. And then you come up with something good and you feed it to your friends next time they come over. Or you come up with something that isn't good and you feed it to the people you didn't really want to invite over but you kind of had to for, reason, for some reason. Anyway, I am going to go and eat this and hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed watching it for what it is. And uh, hope you guys enjoy cooking at home and don't be afraid to try new things. And like I said, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And if it does... My cat. And if it does, great. And uh, so I guess. Hold on. There, is this what you want? You want to be on TV again? All right. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, until the next one. Take care.